Hello everyone, it is about 5 to 2 in the morning on Friday the 18th of August. I have a doctor's appointment at quarter to 10 in the morning, but I said half past 9 or quarter to 10. However, last night I didn't actually manage to get to sleep until about half past 6 in the morning, so I didn't actually wake up until like the mid-afternoon. So I kind of messed up my sleeping pattern, which means that I am actually possibly tempted to try and stay up all night just so I don't oversleep because I really do need to go to this doctor's appointment. So I'm just watching anime at the moment. I have just realised actually this is the first vlog I've done since I've had my tattoo so you can actually see it properly now. There you go. That is permanently inked on my skin. It says we're all stories in the end just make it a good one. It's got a bow tie on the bottom. So yeah that's my tattoo. But yes yeah, so I'm trying to stay up all night and I've decided well, I say I've decided. I started doing that yesterday anyway. I've just been binge watching a load of anime. I've just got done with Danganronpa, which my friend Lizzie uh, recommended to me. So I finally got around to finishing that. I started it, but then never finished it. So I've got around to doing that. I'm also in the middle of watching a few others. Yesterday I started a new one called Gamers, which is a nice light-hearted little slice of life thing about a bunch of video game nerds, which I'm kind of enjoying right now. I also started, I can't remember what it's called, but it's about, it's again, it's another new one where it's about a guy who moves into this apartment and he's living in an apartment where a lot of ghosts also live, but it's, like, it's sort of like demons and people live in the same place and it seems, it's not like horror or dark or anything, it seems quite nice and lighthearted. I think it's kind of like a weird magic slash slice of life thing again. I also started one called Restaurant to Another World, I think it's called. Again, it's a new one where there's a restaurant and there's a door in the restaurant and it leads to different dimensions and a lot of creatures from these dimensions come to the restaurant. I think it's one night every week for, for like a get together and it seems quite nice. I quite like it. Uh, and the one I've just started, I'm about halfway through the first episode, is I, was li I literally just found it on Crunchyroll as I was scrolling through and it seems so silly but I love it already and it's literally just called the Go Home Club or the Going Home Club and it's about a bunch of high school girls who rather than joining a normal after school club they just decided to join a club where they basically see how much fun they can have after school and they just do whatever they want and I don't know why I just wanted something nice and lighthearted to watch. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it there for now. I just thought I'd introduce this little thing. I haven't vlogged in a while, and since I'm going to be up all night, I decided to do a sort of take. I just, let's say I just took inspiration from Sleepless Night with Phil, if you want. Um, no surprise here, I do have tea. So I'm going to have a nice night of drinking tea, watching anime, and then hopefully I'll be awake for my doctor's appointment because uh, I need to be and then once that's done I'm going to come home and sleep or I might try and stay awake all day and that way I might fix my sleeping pattern for tomorrow night. Hello there, so you might have noticed that my hair is very wet, that is because I've just been in the shower. And I've nearly finished my tea so what I'm going to do is I'm very, I'm going to very quickly take it into the kitchen while I make another cup of tea. Back into the living room we go. Tea has been acquired. Hello, it's about three o'clock in the morning now. I'm part way through the third episode of uh, Chronicles of the Going Home Club. And I just want to say, it's definitely based on the real adventures of these five girls because it keeps showing pictures of them with the names. So even the characters are based on the people, which is obviously exaggerated, but I'm really enjoying this. And the last part of it actually inspired me to carry on writing in my diary, which I haven't done since I think April, so it's been a while. So yeah, I'm going to get around to that. I have nearly finished my diary entry. I'm not going to actually let you read my diary, but there you can see all the writing and I've done that page as well. But what I will show you actually, just while I'm finishing it, is... This is how my diary looks on the outside. I got it last year in my last year of university. I found it in Waterstones. It's a really nice sort of magne magnetic um, lock. I say lock, it isn't really. You just flip it open. But it's sort of like a magnetic seal that stops the book from opening. And the design on the front, if you can see that, is actually an ancient musical score. Um, it's Mozart. I just don't know which piece... I believe it's Mozart anyway, but yes, I like it. And I 
I'm going to get to finishing that entry. So I will see you in a little bit. Hello. So it's now about 10 past four in the morning. Um, I've finished episode five of um, Crackles of the Going Home Club and I'm in love with it. It's so silly and ridiculous and it has no plot, but I don't care. I love it. I think it's really, really cool. I'm actually having quite a fun evening. I've only yawned, I've only yawned once. So I've just, like I said, I've got the next episode of Restaurant to Another World playing and I just thought just to like give you something else to look at um, I would show you what I'm planning my next tattoo to be because I really like this one and I, I knew I wanted another one basically as soon as I had this one done and this is the idea that I've had basically since I got this one I know I wanted a pokeball but I think I really like this design if you can see it there you go I really like that design and I do feel like I'd get it where they've got it so maybe here on this arm obviously because I've got that one there so I feel like there might be a good idea I don't know I'm still not settled on that design yet because as much as I like it there are some things that I'm not overly keen on okay so it's about half past five in the morning now I can't remember when I last picked up the camera I think it was about an hour ago or so um I've watched another three episodes of Restaurant to Another World. Uh, I watched episode one like a month or so ago and I've just done the next three. There's only seven up so far, so I didn't want to watch them all at once, but it's getting a thumbs up from me. I do like it, it seems really nice. Um, not really sure where the plot's going, or if it's just a load of separate individual stories, but I really like the idea of it. That's got a thumbs up from me, and I've just started another one. I don't actually, let me check how old this one is. Okay, it's actually, it's like four years old, but it was in 2013, yeah, 2013, about four years old. But it was on the, I think it was in the Slice of Life comedy section of Crunchyroll, it's called Golden Time. Um, and I think it had quite a, quite a high number of stars, so, gonna watch the first episode, give it a go. Hello, it's five to six, as you can probably tell, because there's actually daylight starting to come in through there. I watched the first episode of Golden Time. It seems interesting it's about university life so automatically i'm intrigued because i've been there and done that but i decided i would carry on with the one that i started yesterday which i mentioned the yokai apartment one that i can't remember the name of it's elegant yokai apartment life it's another new one that came out around the same time as a restaurant to another world but I'm gonna watch the third episode of that because i watched the first two last night so it's now about 10 to 7 uh i'm still watching elegant yokai apartment life but I've now broke out the Animal Crossing. I haven't played on this for a while. I don't know how long I've been away, so my town, my town folk might be a little bit angry. So let's see what's going on in Tardisia today. Hello everyone, so it is 10 to eight and I haven't slept. I've actually made it through the night. I shouldn't be proud about that, but I have. I'm still watching um, Elegant Yokai Apartment Life, which has gotten really interesting. Um, but I've also got Hearthstone loading up on my laptop. Got that loading up on here. Let's see, I'm gonna earn some people. I don't think I'm not the best. I'm not bad. I mean, my deck's pretty good. So the plan I've got at the moment is my appointments. I have a half nine or quarter to ten. I can't remember which one, so I'm gonna get there for half nine just to be safe. Uh, and then once I'm done there. I am going to head straight to the hairdressers and get this mop cut which means I'm going to straighten my hair before I leave because that way once it's straight I can gauge what sort of length I want it easier if that makes sense. Hello again. I feel like I should be, it feels like I'm doing like a survival documentary where I'm just sort of sat here going it's 25 past 8. I haven't eaten in so many hours and I'm just starving now. I'm fine. I've caught up with all of um, elegant yokai apartment life so I've watched every episode that's aired so far I'm now deliberating on what, what I want to watch next I mean Phil's awake so I don't know whether I want to put games on which is what I started watching last night then I made him watch it earlier did you like it? I don't know it was horrible because I, I purposely didn't watch it in case you wanted to wait I didn't like the pink haired girl I know you didn't like the pink haired girl say hi to Phil by the way hi to Phil by the way let me show you some of the animes I've got in my queue right now. There is a lot. So, 
I've watched that like four times now. I'll just keep it in my that queue because it's fun. fun. Yeah, like it's a fun little anime. If you've never watched Comic Artists and His Assistants and you just want a fun little anime, they're only about 10, 12 minutes episodes each. It's fun. Asterisk War, I think that's the start of the second season and I just haven't got around to it yet. That's been in my queue for ages, I just haven't watched it yet. I probably won't get around to it, to be fair. Chaos Child, I'm near the end. I think I've got three episodes left. Yeah. Devil's a part-timer I've watched, but I loved, so I've kept that in there. Akashic Records of a Bastard Magic Instructor. I knew that was the title. I've got two episodes left of that. That's just in my queue. That seemed cool. Again, that seemed cool. Uh, nice and magic I mentioned earlier I've watched the first episode of that My Hero Academia is real I'm really enjoying it I just need to get further with it start golden time earlier that seems interesting that's in my queue I can't remember why I put it in there that was like a apparently a slice of life comedy so again interested that's a crappy Yu-Gi-Oh knockoff but it sounded really crap and I was intrigued so I, I want to watch the first episode to just to judge it um, again, a slice of life anime. I think it's about a quizzer, so that sounds cool. Restaurant to Another World, I was talking about earlier. That, uh, I can't remember what it's about, but the actual description sounded cool, so I want to watch that. This, I love this. Chronicles of the Going Home Club, I'm really enjoying it so far because it's so pointless. Uh, Mech Meets Magic, yeah, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on board. Gamers mentioned that. In another world, in, this apparently from what I've read is the main character dies and then gets put in a parallel world because of his phone? I don't know, but it's weird. I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, again, like another magic sort of one. I always love a good magic anime. This sounds interesting. It's like a bunch of people in a school and it's slice of life. And then this is about a trainee witch, apparently, I think. I don't know if I'm going to get around to watching all of these, but it's what's in my queue so far. Oh my god, that's... For those of you who like Gravity Falls, this is something terrifying Phil has just shown me. Stumble. I just realised I never showed them your birthday present to me. That, that was, that Speaking was... of Gravity Falls, let me go and show you what my birthday present was from Phil because I am I quite like it. I actually got a few books for my birthday, so this is the one that Charlotte in Nottingham got me. Very happy about this. It's a Doctor Who novel, sort of, sort of short novel based around River and I love River so I'm happy with that. Then Phil got me this because we love Gravity Falls and I'm very happy with this. Yeah, I've got a journal. And then he made me this, which was quite adorable. It is a Waddles journal. I'm very happy with this, it's so cute. I've still got some of the, the sort of like makeshift stickers, but basically he got, he printed off a lot of little um, pictures of Waddles on a blank piece of paper, which I've been, which he cut some of them out. And I've got to stick them in various places on the book. I like that one. Hello, so I meant to film the ending for this back when I first filmed it in on Thursday and Friday, but the camera's messed up, well did mess up, I don't know if it still is, it was a moment ago, basically it wasn't letting me shoot anything, uh, so I'm hoping that's fixed, I'm just going to do a very quick outro now, so yes, I went to the doctors, got everything sorted, I did get this cut, um, it's still a bit curly, I need to straighten it, but I did get it cut, and I enjoyed my anime. I've continued watching uh, the series that I was watching there and started a couple of new ones but you can hear about those in a later video because I do want to film uh, my current favourite anime of all time, so like my top 10 anime so far of, of what I've seen. Thank you for watching this, sorry not much happened but I just fancied doing almost like a sleepless night with Phil thing, like, like Amazing Phil does. So yeah, thank you for watching, have a lovely day and I will see you at some point in the future.